Just got one little chunk I've cut off for myself here, and I am gonna spoon on a little extra sauce to this one as well, because <laughs> it's it's like it's it's sauce. It's also just it's salad dressing, and it is delicious salad dressing. <laughs> so I'm gonna and I love my cilantro, so I'm gonna put extra cilantro on mine. And I know it looks like a ridiculously small <laughs> plate, because it is kind of right. Um, but this is my eat the bite plate. I am gonna squeeze a little bit of extra lime because I love it. Let's check this chicken is so good. First of all, look at that. <laughs> that is a delicious piece of chicken right there. I'm obviously not gonna put the whole thing in my mouth, but. I'm testing it right now, but I will tell you in a minute what I usually do with this chicken. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. I always worry with white meat chicken, I'm gonna dry it out on the grill or something. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. This is a such a delicious grill recipe. Mmm. Got that old bite from the sriracha. Ooh, I love that. And on its own, 
This is also a delicious salad dressing as well, which is typically, oh yeah, that was my big reveal. And I'll make some salads with this after and take photos too, but um, my favorite thing to do with this chicken is take it for salads for lunch. Mmm. Mmm. Which is very tender. Very, very tender and delicious. And then I just spoon on a couple of these into my salad. And it's perfection. This is so good. I'm glad I skipped breakfast. It's 12.10. <laughs> hey, you can let that work. I'm just eating a big chunk of protein for lunch slash breakfast. Oh, it's got like sweetness, it's got savoriness, that kick from the sriracha, the grill. It's tender, it's juicy. Mmm. Mmm. So good. And a grill trick slash tip or whatever you want to call it. Because <clears throat> one of the biggest complaints I hear from people is that they can't get the grill marks on their food when they're cooking on the grill. I'm like, yeah, you're touching it too soon. On my grill, I know exactly four minutes is how long it takes to get grill marks. You gotta figure that out for your own grill. Mm -hmm. My grill's four minutes and I get those grill marks. And if you want it even a little bit, I did a little bit more than I usually do actually char when I cook these because I just wanted it. I was just craving it. So it was like four and a half minutes, which gave it, an, although one of the pieces was a little too thin and it did burn a little bit, but um, that's okay. I wanted that little extra char today, so I did slightly longer than four minutes. But if you want just the grill marks and it's perfect, and you don't want too much char, four minutes, turn them. That's it. That's my grill tip. Guys, you gotta make this. Look at this. That is a delicious, you know how you go to a barbecue sometimes and someone just puts grill, chicken on the grill and they don't season it? And like, here, I've got grilled chicken, everyone. And you're like, oh, thanks. <laughs> they didn't even salt and pepper it. Uh, that's not gonna taste like anything. You know, we have to make, again, I said it a million times in my blog, we have to make boneless breast of chicken or any white meat chicken. We have to make it taste like something because otherwise it tastes like nothing. This is one way you can do it with a delicious marinade. Okay. Make it, it's delicious.